Now a heel can say basically anything they want to say. And people say, oh, he's just BSing. He's just braggadocious. But when I was a superstar, I would be very careful and deliberate. I wouldn't go out and say, I'm gonna break every bone in your leg. Because if I didn't, people say, ah, I see you didn't do it. But I'm certainly gonna go out there tonight and I'm gonna hurt you. Some of these guys get to the point where they say, well, I can't lose. I mean, it's too close to Bangkok, right? Well, hell, the Giants lose, the Yankees lose, the Pirates lose, everybody loses and you win, you lose. That's, that's the world the way it is. I said, I'm a masked man. I said, if I come in as a cowboy, I'd be really self-conscious that maybe there's a couple cowboys from the rodeo that are in the audience, or if I'm doing an interview, I mean, I do my interview because I know who I am. But if I'm doing an interview about somebody on a ranch, I don't feel comfortable. That is gonna go across to my interview. I'm not a cowboy. If everybody in the territory is yelling and screaming, you talk. If they're all talking, you scream. Now, you can see it, not so much now, but you could see it with Flair. Flair was screaming all the time. He was screaming as a heel, he was screaming as a babyface, he was screaming when he didn't know where the dressing room was coming out of. And after a while, they turned down the volume. That's my product. I know me. I know those three guys. You know what? They're all three different guys. So I couldn't sell Bolo Mongo and X Demolition because they don't work the same. They're similar, but Mongo was a specialist, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. Superstar was pretty scientific. And Axe was a combination of this and that. We were scientific to a point where we get brutal sometimes, but we also were very confident. But that's my products. Now some guy that's watched the matches for 15 years since he was 12 is gonna tell me how to perform. It's not them. It's somebody else telling them how they should be. Just like, I should be a cowboy. Well, I'm not a cowboy. I feel self-conscious about a cowboy, so I forgot about the type of saddle that I had. Hmm, what was that saddle again? What the color was it? And I'm thinking about all this stuff, and I'm not getting across that I'm gonna kick the shit out of Tommy Ridge tonight mm -hmm. Carrollton at 7.15, so you don't wanna be, you don't wanna miss it. Right. Well, at least it was Vince McMahon Sr. who told you how to be a cowboy. Today, it would be a 28-year-old television writer telling you to. No, they wouldn't. Regarding today's topic, did anyone ever suggest a demolition breakup to you guys? No. Nope. Is Smash interfering? Is he just not at ringside at all? I don't think he would be at ringside. I think he would be in, a, in an advantageous situation where he's watching it because he's torn. That was done on purpose, that's captured, that I or Barry, whoever's going to be screwed, can look back on and say, you know, that happened in an. God darn it, it happened again over here in Richmond. And it, God darn it, it happened again in Greenville. It was planned. I was the, mm -hmm. the leading member of the team. So you're the one that Fuji would need to get out of the yeah. picture. So in other words, he could guide, he could guide Barry, not controlling, but he could control Crush. Don't give them what they want all the time. We could have never switched become good guys. People would have still cheered for us. Mm. They would have still bought tickets for us to cut the guy's head off and piss down their throat. 